following video is not made for kids. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello everyone. So for those of you wondering why I decided to why Barricades Review was done into two parts, I accidentally uh, closed my camera down by accident. I didn't mean to, so I was hoping I would have gotten this in one take, but unfortunately I had to now have to make the review broken up into two parts. So uh, I'll change the title of part one to show barricade in box and robot mode. Oh, and in part two for vehicle mode. Uh, one thing I wanted to point out really fast is that right here when you have barricade uh, almost fully transformed into vehicle mode, but not quite yet. Someone already pointed this out in other reviews, so I take no credit in this. But if you wanted to, uh, when he's in this uh, half transformed mode, barricade, the way his uh, shape is designed, he kind of looks similar to... Megatron from Transformers Beast Machines, so I thought that was pretty a uh, fun thing to see, and once I saw it, I couldn't then see it. Yeah, and so uh, let's hurry up and uh, finish transforming this thing. And be right back. All right, and so here is Barricade transformed into his Altmo. Oh, it's a pretty impressive looking uh, Cybertronian sports car. Um, this was a feature that most of the ground-based uh, vehicle mode Decepticons had in the War for Cybertron video games is that they had uh, spikes on their front bumpers to show that they were uh, menaces. Is But yes, I'm really impressed with how detailed the vehicle mode is. Uh, he's got this huge rocket booster on the back, so he's a ro so he's a rocket propelled, so he can move at pretty fast speeds. Um, from the other videos we've seen, uh, the wheels do allow barricade to roll fairly well, but unfortunately, due to the low clearance space between the tires and the base of the vehicle mode, the barricade is only going to be able to roll around on flat surfaces. So it's a minor nitpick, but it, but it's really nice looking. Some people have said that the way barricade looks, he looks almost like an evil version of the Batmobile. He'll, uh, some people have said the vehicle mode is uh, a little, a little. Uh, not quite accu entirely accurate to Barricade's appearance in the video game, like the back half, the, it sat up slightly taller than what this figure does. But I, but since I never played the games, that personally doesn't bother me at all. Uh, but I do love the sculpt of detailing here on the back. You've got the rocket booster, then you've got four exhaust pipes here as well. Also, pretty nice looking. And then, of course, for weapon storage, you take Barricade's laser gun, and there's a square shaped pay port peg right there, and just. All you do is just take the gun and, just like we saw with Bumblebee in his vehicle mode, oh, and actually with all the Studio Series Gamer Edition figures, the, pretty much the only weapon storage is to just have the weapon sitting up on top of the roof. That was a common trend with, actually, with uh, quite a few of the Transformers action figures that were released back in 2010 with the original War for Cybertron action figure designs. So, yeah, so, silly me for turning my camera off and having to... Uh, cut barricades review into two parts. All right, so thank you guys all so much, so much, and for the uh, proverbial question for uh, barricade, Ada, do I I they recommend get, do I recommend getting this figure and adding it to your Transformers collection? I only recommend you get this figure a year if you're a fan of barricade and if you like the overall appearance of this uh, particular Transformers action figure. But if you don't and you prefer uh, Barricade's designed to be based similar to his uh, Transformers uh, Siege and Earthrise figures that were released a few years ago, where he looks like his uh, the version of him from the Transformers live-action movies, then this figure can be an easy pass. And again, with all the flaws that Barricade has in his robot mode, oh, die. Oh, he's uh, the worst uh, Transformers Studio Series Game Edition figure so far, but that said, I still think it's a great figure to have, and I do not regret getting Barricade and adding him to my collection. But, yeah, I only recommend you get this guy if you're absolutely interested in having a action figure Barricade based on his appearance in the World of Cybertron video game. Thank you guys all so much. How much this has been the TFN Geek, and until next time, you guys, stay safe, stay healthy, transform and roll out. Goodbye, everyone.